I'm Hannah Patterson and I'm in Dorset to take a look at Park Dean's action-packed Sanford Holiday Park. Fabulous Hailing Island Holiday Park. I'm on Nairn Beach on the beautiful Moray Firth. And I'm at St Mimba Holiday Park. I'm on the coast of Dumfries and Galloway. Mullion Holiday Park. From Great Yarmouth to the Broads, Norfolk is a fab place to visit any time of the year. Beautiful Granny's Heel and Hame. Cumble Valley Holiday Park. Beautiful Weems Bay. There's even a ski slope. Warmwell is an ideal location, close to Weymouth and Dorchester, so it's perfect for exploring nearby beaches, towns and attractions. This is my instructor Rob, he's going to show me the ropes. You can learn to ski here too, but these guys don't need to because they're professional. Set in the grounds of an old manor house and surrounded by trees, this park really gives you the full English countryside experience. It's close to no less than 11 fantastic beaches. And once you're done with swimming, simply enjoy the warmth by kicking back and relaxing on the sun lounges. Then the whole family can take a relaxing stroll around the park on the nature trail. Or hit the crazy golf course for a few rounds. But this is definitely more my style. For Park Dean's resident kiddies characters. Oh, hello. I missed you. <laughs> But if you want to bag a view like that of the Donock Firth, you need to book early. If you're looking for a touch of luxury, then look no further. Part Dean offer the creme de la creme of holiday homes with stunning interiors, well-planned spaces and top-of-the-range appliances. And when you've had enough relaxing inside, you can head out onto the veranda and chill. Perfect. What's more, if you love it here so much and you don't want to leave, you can actually own your own holiday home here. You could bring the kids away whenever you wanted and create the kind of memories that money just can't buy. But I'm on my hole, so I think I'll let someone else do the cooking. And whilst I'm here, I'm also going to take advantage of Park Dean's free Wi-Fi to check out the local area and see where I'm going next. If you wander up there a little bit, you'll find some lovely walks along the southwest coastal path. But it's still a great day out for all the family. It's Corder Castle. You can't come to Norfolk without visiting Yarmouth and as it's one of the UK's most famous seaside resorts, slight change of pace and I'm on the Padstow Rock Ferry. Good place for a bite to eat and a pint too. Just up the coast you'll find Port Isaac. A day in Portsmouth is another great way to spend your time. And take a journey into Britain's Maritime Pass. This part of the world is packed full of gorgeous beaches and West Bay is one of the best. A shark. shark. You'll find a wealth of history up here in the Highlands. Take Dunrobin Castle, for example. But now it's a natural reserve for hundreds of free swans. During the nesting season, you'll probably find about 600 swans here, and the nests are actually along the path. But first, a spot of sunbathing, I think. do you follow a day packed full of all that excitement? The night times, it's all about kicking back and relaxing. So get up, stand up, yes, the Pardeen Troopers have put together an exciting programme of fully choreographed shows full of superb vocalists and dazzling costumes that will simply blow you away. Right, I'm going to have a hot chockey and hit the hay because tomorrow is another day. 